If you like historic homes, then Long Beach, California is definitely worth checking out. The city has 18 different historic districts. We're here today in front of the Bembridge House, which lies in the Drake Park, Wilmore City historic area. What does it take to become a historic district and where are they? Well, they're all over the city and they range in size from individual streets to entire neighborhoods. The home styles also vary. In order to qualify as a historic district, at least two thirds of the homes need to be original contributing structures and there's a process the neighborhood must go through. Here's a few of our favorite Long Beach Historic Districts, small and large. Elliott Lane is just one block of charming homes built in the 1920s. Mostly Mission Revival, these small homes were built to be affordable residences during an economic boom in Long Beach. Bluff Heights features some beautiful craftsman homes built between 1910 and about 1923. You'll also find Spanish Revival, Tudor Revival, Prairie, and other styles. This is a super walkable neighborhood and it's highly in demand. Bluff Heights is adjacent to two other great historic districts, Bluff Park and Carroll Park. Located along Ocean, First, and Second Streets, Bluff Park consists of a number of larger craftsman homes and period revival homes built between 1903 and about 1949. It was one of the city's first historic districts with its designation coming in 1982. Although it's relatively small, nearby Carroll Park features not only craftsman homes, but also 16 other historically significant architectural styles. Its curved streets winding around small pocket parks are reminiscent of the horse and buggy era at the turn of the 20th century. Carroll Park, Bluff Park, and Bluff Heights are all super walkable, as is Rose Park and Rose Park South, which lie to the north. Filled with craftsman bungalows and other historic homes, the Rose Park neighborhood was named one of the best old house neighborhoods in the country by This Old House magazine. A bit west of Rose Park, you'll find the Hellman Street Craftsman District, which as its name suggests, features a number of craftsman homes, many dating between 1911 and 1920. Downtown, you'll find the Drake Park Wilmore City Historic District, which unites two previously designated historic districts. This neighborhood was part of the city's original 1881 plan and has the highest concentration of early 1900s housing, including Victorian, Mission, and other styles. Situated in the neighborhood, you'll find the Bembridge House, a beautiful example of Victorian architecture. One of our favorite historic districts is in the Wrigley area. Just two blocks long, this district is named after the chewing gum magnet, and the quaint homes here were built between 1928 and 1934. Walking along Eucalyptus Avenue, it's easy to imagine being in another era. And who can forget the city's largest historic district, California Heights. With nearly 1,500 homes, this neighborhood lies north of the 405 freeway. It was built primarily in the 1920s and features some gorgeous Spanish colonial revival homes on tree-lined streets. Whether you're looking for a small home or a stately home, a small historic district or a large one, Long Beach may have a spot for you.